Thank you for tuning in to Digital Coin Up. This is the fourth episode of 20 Credit Review. Today we're going to be reviewing Battle Greg. Okay, what? Oh. Right, can I like erase that? Alright, whatever. Like I said, we're going to be reviewing Battle Greg. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave you with the first stage. After that, I'll be right back with the review. But enough about that, let's play. Alright, I am back. Now, Battle Garego was released to the arcades in 1996, developed by Rising and published by Aiding. This developer publisher duo became famous for their quality shoot em ups. You can spot a longer video featuring one of their other shoot em ups in a 20 credit playthrough where it covered Armed Police Batrider, which so happens to have some characters from this game as well as other Rising Aiding titles. Now what makes this game a little different to the plethora of other manic shooters out there is that generally those games feature large colorful bullets making it easier for the players to dodge. But not Battle Garega, at least not initially. In this game, the bullets are a lot harder to see because they're a lot more realistic. Most of them are cylindrical shapes, just like bullets, as well as the colors of gunmetal and copper. And you know what else utilizes those colors a lot? The stages. They all have a diesel punk aesthetic to them, full of machinery. So in turn, these bullets tend to blend into with the background. On top of that, there is a ton of debris flying around the stages as well. Now, at first, this was difficult, but after a few more playthroughs, it became no big deal, and it actually began to prefer the bullets like this. At that point in time, I knew what to look for, and it gave the game a different look that I could appreciate. Later on, they released a revision where the bullets were a bit more shoot 'em up in style, since there was some outcry from the players. They also went with more traditional shmup bullets in the sequel, which I will cover in the next 20 credit review. Now over the course of the last few videos, I've really come to love the rising style of games. Now, this game was never released outside of Japan, which is a shame, although we may see it in the near future. A version of this game has just released to PlayStation 4, entitled Battle Garega Rev 2016, and the publishers have stated plans to release outside of Japan. Additionally, in 1998, this game was also ported to the Sega Saturn, although that was Japan only as well. So if you're a shoot-em-up fan, I 
highly recommend this title. At least to try it. This is one of the most highly praised premiere titles in the genre. Anyway, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I'd also love to hear from you, so please leave a comment. And as always, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. I really, really do.